Hello guys, Jack here from Pure Create Designs and thank you for watching this After Effects tutorial. Now this After Effects tutorial is going to be on the how to do a camera shake and um, I've already done this tutorial before but um, I had a lot of problems with the um, some of my recording software and um, stuff didn't go to plan in that video so I thought I would do it again in more detail. Now to do the um, camera shake inside of After Effects what we're going to do is we're going to be using something called Wiggler. Now, when we're in After Effects, I'm in After Effects CS4, this is in um, CS5 and CS3. Not sure about earlier versions, but it probably would be there. If we go to Window and we go down to Wiggler, like so, we've got this new box that opens up here or somewhere else on the side of your um, panels over here. So, what happens is uh, we can apply this type of effect to a clip um, of your choice. Now, I've just got this. Um, Call of Duty clip here, like so. So I'm just going to drag that on. It's a bit of a long clip, so it might take a, quite a while. I have quite a slow computer. Now I'm just going to um, drag um, just a little bit out. All I need is a about a second clip. So let's see when he shoots this guy here. Uh, let's just drag this. I'll just take the. If you come here, you can take the um, quality down to a half or a third. So let's take it to a third, so it just um, loads a little bit quicker. So let's just have it up until um, it's around here. So if I just drag the um, end of time to about two seconds and just drag this in just a little bit. So this is just what it's going to render in After Effects. Okay. So first off, what we have to do now is we have to find where we want the camera shake to happen. Now if I go along and just find where he kills him, I'm going to want to add it there. So he just aims in here. Uh, shoots him just there. So what we're going to do is, um, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay. Um, what we can do now is on our keyboard, if we hit hit P, that's going to bring up our position. Now if we stop, um, create a stopwatch there, and then we drag all the way to where we want this camera shape to end. So I'm just dragging across my timeline with this thing here. Okay. So as you can see there, it's created a keyframe. If I drag along to where I want the camera shake to stop, I'm going to come over to this little thing here, and that's going to create a new keyframe, like so. Okay, so now we have two keyframes. We haven't messed around with them. We've just kept them as the original, um, as the video. Now, what we can do is we need to scale up this um, video, because when we apply this camera shake, um, what it does is it moves the whole thing around. Now it'll bring in these black edges so of the video that we don't want we want to see all the videos so if I just click on the top of the right hand corner of one here I'm going to hit shift or hold shift on my keyboard I'm going to drag out and that's going to keep my aspect ratio nice to there okay so what we can do now is we can highlight both of these keyframes like so so that's all I did there so I clicked on one holded shift and clicked on the other okay um, shift looks like an up arrow on some people's keyboards, some people have got that confusing, but everyone should know what shift is. Then, once I've done that, if I just show you really quickly, um, as you can see here, you can't apply some of these features, that like you can't click the apply button. You wonder why? It's because you have to click and hold shift and um, apply it to two keyframes, like so. And as you can see, the apply button and some other stuff has come up. Now, the noise type, I'm going to choose to be jagged. I want this to be quite a... Um, sort of fast, um, really hard sort of um, camera shake. Now the frequency and the magnitude we can mess around with. Wouldn't take these too high. I'm going to take the frequency up to about 8 or 9 and the magnitude to about 2, 3. I'll put it on 3. Okay. Now once we've done that we can hit apply and as you can see it's applied some new keyframes for us adding this nice camera shake. Now um, I might actually set this up quite a bit more Let's put the frequency to about, say, 19 and the magnitude up to about 5. Let's apply that. And as you see, we've had a lot more keyframes now, giving a bigger camera shake. So if I just um, preview this for you now, it shouldn't take too long. I'm um, sorry about the slow time. But what this is going to do is it's just going to shake the whole screen around. And as you can see, it's applied this quite nice looking camera shake to this. Um, uh, clip we've just added into After Effects. 
Now, um, oh, I'm having a bit of problem with After Effects here, but um, that's the way because all these keyframes, what they're doing is they are um, messing around with the position of this um, clip, and um, because it's messing around with the position, um, it's sort of moving it in different directions. So that is how we create our camera shake inside of After Effects. Now, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Hope it's a lot better than the um, other one. But that's it guys, that's how you create a camera shake inside of After Effects. So um, please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash pcreatedesigns. And um, that's it guys, see ya.